money, drugs, and fame. Shakari Richardson, the track and field athlete, is out of control. Nobody knows why she would jeopardize the one thing she worked so hard for. The question on everyone's mind is, why did Shakari use marijuana when she knew it was banned? <laughs> you is the shit, and don't ever, ever, ever let nobody play you, baby. Stop recording. No, I'm not gonna start recording because I was making a video to myself. Stop I'm gonna not stop recording. Oh and this video will show what you're doing. So I appreciate Who the f are you talking we don't to, ma'am? Thank you. Like, okay. no. Shakari has been making headlines every other day for fighting with reporters to getting booted from a flight to put her opponents down and make fun of them. From being Texas's fastest woman to the United States and soon the whole world, how is she this good? What exactly is going on? Let's dive into the world of the USA's fastest woman. Will she ever come out of this hype of fame? This video is not just about Shakari and her wealth. This is a once in a lifetime tutorial on how you can get rich through your favorite athletes. Shakari Richardson was born on March 25th, 2000 in Dallas, Texas, United States. She first rose to fame when she was competing for Louisiana State University. Just at 19 years old, she made her way into one of the 10 fastest women in history. Currently, she is 23 years old, 5 feet 1 inches high, and only 45 kilograms in weight. Shakari is a daughter of a single mother, who gave up everything to make her daughter the star she is today. Shakari's mother died in 2021, just days after her first gold medal, and just days before she won the 100-meter race at the Olympic trials. Many believe that Shakari was told about her mother's death by a reporter during a race. However, despite her loss, Shakari won the 100-meter race at the Olympic trials. Shakari was raised by her grandmother, Betty Harp, and aunt, whom she loves very much. Shakari had told reporters, without my grandmother, there would be no Shakari Richardson. Just weeks after her mother's death, Shakari Richardson was tested positive for a banned substance, marijuana, and suspended for over one month. Due to this, Shakari missed many important events. Joe Biden and many other public figures stood against Shakari's suspension. The biggest reason behind this was that during that same time, a young white figure skater who also tested positive for drugs was cleared to perform. Is this the case of classic racial discrimination? When it comes to training, Shakari is a natural leader. She is just used to being the leader. Whatever she is asked to do, she is going to try and do her best, no matter what. Something that not everyone knows is that Shakari is a spiritual person. She follows the faith of Christianity. Currently, she is unmarried. However, there have been rumors of her having a girlfriend, but no one knows who that is. Previously, Shakari has opened up about her relationship with Jamaican track and field athlete Janique Brown. However, after a year of dating, they parted ways. Shakari took to Instagram to confess, I was in a relationship with a Jamaican athlete who never cared about me from the jump. I was abused and stolen from, yet I protected her from the judgment of her country and AMP family while they dragged me. I had to deal with homophobia and so much more that I'm still healing from. Very soon, there were also rumors that Shakari admitted that she was the toxic one and wanted her ex back. But now, let's talk numbers. Shakari Richardson has a staggering net worth of over $5 million. Much of Shakari's income comes from lucrative endorsement deals from elite brands like Nike, Beats, and Apple Music. She often wears custom Nike sports suits and accessories during her races. Her clothes are made according to her eccentric and big personality. Her fans believe that her opponents are jealous of the way Shakari carries herself. But how true is that exactly? Shakari spends her money on fancy clothes, nails, cars, and most importantly, her family. Let's see how Shakari's fellow athletes are doing in comparison to her. Elaine Thompson Hera only has a net worth of $4 million, while Sherika Jackson ties with Shakari. Yet, the most interesting part is that Florence Griffith Joyner's net worth was exactly $5 million when she died. The fastest woman in the world, even today. No one has been able to beat her record, but many think Shakari will. 
Shakari Richardson channels and embodies the personality of Florence Griffith Joyner, the goat. The long nails, colored hair wigs, and big eyelashes are all inspired by Flojo. The ideology behind this eccentric outlook is to give out the message of embracing individuality. She believes that you should unapologetically embrace who you are. She introduced herself on the world stage as exactly who she is. An unapologetically proud young black woman who will wear lashes, Flojo nails, and vibrant hair colors while she's competing will not hesitate to correct people when they mispronounce her name. It's Sha Carey. The track and field superstar avidly practices journaling and indulging in her favorite foods like pizza and fries. Sha Carey loves to meditate. Apart from this, she is the biggest supporter of the LGBTQ plus community and is not afraid to speak her mind. The funny thing about this is that Sha Carey was also accused of being homophobic for a tweet she made when she was only 15 years old. Now this is the interesting part, Shakari Richardson is just not afraid to speak her mind, even though that has gotten her into significant trouble. On her social media, she was caught ridiculing Shelly Ann in a tweet that said, Shelly Ann looked like Lil Wayne. She made fun of winners when she was doing so well on track. Her fans were not happy. Despite this, she even slammed Alison Felix, a fellow sprinter, who encouraged her on a television show. She even got booted from her flight after she asked to stop recording during takeoff, but Shakari refused to turn off her phone. She had a heated verbal altercation with the flight attendant and was then sent off the plane. One of the biggest face-offs that Shakari has had in her career was with a white reporter who would often put her down. She called the reporter out on his racist behavior. Don't believe us. See for yourself. Athletes deserve way more respect than when y'all just come and throw cameras into their faces. Understand how an athlete operates and then ask your questions. Then be more understanding of the fact that they are still human, no matter just the fact of y'all just trying to get something to put out in an article to make a dollar. Thank you. Despite the outrage that Shakari brings to the track and field sport, she always emerges as the favorite. Her honesty, genuity, and fearlessness win everyone's hearts. When she was tested positive for marijuana, she wanted the world to hear her apology first. People don't understand what it's like to have to go in front of the world and put on a face and hide my pain, Shakari told Today at the time. She also tweeted, I am human. Even when she finished last in the Prefontaine Classic 2021, she came back after months of training and apologized for her bad performance, claiming that she would do better, and to everyone's surprise, she kept her word. So for me, coming back, and I'm not back, I keep saying this, I'm not back, I'm better. Because these last three years, I've shown y'all what I can do. It just was me that stepped in my way. Shakari believes that her outspoken personality is seen as a threat and aggressiveness, just because she is a black woman. Shakari Richardson stands in the way of injustice. She comes after a long line of women like Wilma, Wyomi Atius, Florence Flojo Joyner, Jackie Joyner Kersey, and Alison Felix, women who balanced athleticism with respectability politics. Very recently, Shakari has come forward on her Instagram stories with cryptic messages of realizing that the people she was protecting, the people closest to her, are not willing to protect her. Many believe that she is in a conflict with her aunt. As of now, Shakari is not coming out with the whole truth. Now that you know all that, let's talk business. Your favorite athletes are not the only ones who can make a fortune. This is Shakari Richardson's infamous winning Nike Air Zoom Max Fly Runners. Now what would just any fan see? New shoes that give you incredible speed work. What do we see? Money. Go to Nike's website, https www.nike.com gbb.helppa affiliate program eu then go to amazon and apply for their affiliate plan through the nike affiliate program selected websites can earn commission by promoting nike products if your application is accepted you'll be invited to browse the extensive range of nike links and banners that you can use on your website instagram pages and much more Affiliates can earn up to 11% commission on valid sales. Most affiliates place their product links on review sites. The more people buy through your link, the more commission you earn. Now that is exuding real power from the best athletes. Everyone fell in love with Shakari Richardson the day. In her post-race interview, she proclaimed, 
I just want the world to know that I'm that girl. Shakari always wanted the world to know that she is that girl, who will stand by who she is at the end of the day and never change that. Now that is power. Shakari is the modern day role model for many young athletes and followers. Her confidence and ability to stand her truth have made her the nation's favorite. Even though she is often told to turn her sass down, she simply does not care. Shakari continues to make history. If you like this player profile, subscribe for more.